Hello everybody, my name is Ben Pope and welcome back to Tug. We have been following the adventures of Beckon Ironwolf. And if you remember from last time, he is dreaming about being inside the world of Tug. And our little hero, our little seedling, as they call it in the game Tug, is here next to his little garden. Um, we have orange, two orange trees and two pumpkin um, I guess vines and it's actually pretty cool you can actually now eat you can eat a whole pumpkin just like that it's too big to hold in your mouth in your hand so it just kind of chews it up um, but as you see here you can eat the seeds extra nourishment yeah so if you remember uh, so we had ignore the log graphic problem it it is an early alpha in, de in development version um, what was I gonna say so we have these lovely two pumpkin vines and we have all these oranges that are ripening and falling on the ground and we were working on uh, building ourselves a little house if you remember and good thing little old Beckon in his dream remembers of the old times, I guess in his Viking times, where he knew how to build little cabins uh, back then. So um, here's kind of what I did so far. Uh, the really cool thing about torches is you can just place them on. I don't have more, but uh, let's see. Put the seeds away. You can grab one of the torches, carry it around and place it anywhere, really. Uh, so I use those as decorations and sort of place them there. I kind of want to touch in this episode on, on the building aspect. Um, this is my little scaffold to climb up, uh, which is actually works because you can jump is it three, ooh, one, two, three, three blocks up. And um, you can have to keep jumping over these, he doesn't just climb over them. So this is just a row of... I'm gonna kinda, I'm gonna kinda go through and explain what's going on with with how building works. And this is in creative... Uh, not creative mode, in survival mode obviously. I assume it's the same in creative. Uh, one thing I dislike so far is I can't hold shift to not fall off. Um, so... <laughs> easily fall off. Okay, so as you can see with the new terrain um, what is it called now? It's not just blocks, it, it sort of molds the environment, so you know it connected there. And you can do some really neat things, and the, this is how I'm able to do the roof like this. Um, and it works it works great, it does wonderful and we're gonna jump down here. For example, if you wanna just, you know, build a, sp a spiky thingy, you can. Uh, and it sort of leaves. Um, you see, you still see the outline of where the block would be. And then if you wanna add something, you know, I mean, this is this is cool. Not many other games. I mean, I'm sure there's some other ones. I haven't played all the building games out there. I'm sure there's some others that let you do that. Uh, jump this off. Unfortunately, it's not perfect though, and even that noise, that's, that's telling us that it's windy, it's dark, or something. I did not press shift tab, I don't know why that happened. Uh, okay, so it is kind of dark. I'm gonna come out here so you can see the, the light effect. So it's just very ambient, very cool. Um, I see this doesn't get much light because the torch sort of lights up this way. And I don't know how it gets light up there, but it does. And it also lights up inside a little bit. So it's kind of like, it's nice. Uh, I also placed this torch here. Uh, I just removed my 
See how dark it is without it? Uh, right, it's on my bar. So, taking it out, we place it back. Um, so, right, I was gonna get somewhere with, with these things. So you can do really neat uh, things. It, it molds really well, it blends. Um, but it seems to have a certain direction of blending. For example, this is... These are blocks of wood, and then there's a block of cobble right here, and then more wood. So the block of cobble is actually this block, and it sort of blends towards the left with the wood, and then the wood from the right blends blends into it. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, it's the reason, the same reason why this up here has what it appears to be more cobbled to the left side versus the right, but it's the same amount of blocks. I went, I went pillar from here all the way to the top, and then pillar from here all the way to the top, but it blended into the wood towards the left. And um, it does the same here. As you can see, this is this does not have a blend. I mean, it has a blend of wood into the stone here, um, but on this side, the stone blends into this wood. So a couple of things like that, if they were to fix, it would be nice. Also, um, I placed this sort of beam here, uh, and I'm kind of disappointed with it because see how this is now squared. There's square blocks again. It doesn't do. It doesn't always do what. What you think it will do? Like here, it the cobble going from the floor to the wall did a nice curve, and I was expecting that here too. You know, I was expecting like a nice blended corner, and it doesn't do that. And then you can keep going for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what. The requirement is this is looking more like a square beam versus the round pointy thingy very very dynamic very cool shaped and I think it does it is it just stone it's strange because I placed the stone here see and it did the whole the whole bit that I'm talking about it 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 curved the edges so we have this nice little entrance and windows um, even here the stone did a bit of a dip but it seems to not be doing that uh, let's walk farther out and find out maybe they updated something and it changed for the stone uh, but I kind of like the curvy bits of what I placed before, so I'm, I'll, I'll have to make sure I never remove that side of the wall there. And I'm just now thinking about it, that maybe they updated something and I wasn't aware of it. Let's pick up more oranges. I don't know if they actually disappear or what, but... Um, I almost... Well, I got scared because I'm actually going to wait and not eat anything as my phone beeps at me. Let's do that on on silent. Uh, right, so <coughs> probably not gonna have enough time to wait for all my energy to dissipate, but there's no um, there's no sort of noise letting you know that you're, you're hungry and taking damage because you start taking health damage. Darn it, people stop messaging me. Um, so real quick, I would just don't want to make the episode that long where I'll um, have to do that. You just have to trust me that you take damage without <laughs> knowing. So make sure you eat. Um, I'm just going to eat these. And uh, let's place some of this wood. Now where I want to place it is here to make it also really cool that these sort of I mean it didn't it didn't yell at me for placing this wood there it looks a bit awkward but it pretty much 
I didn't want to take this tree down because I thought it looks good there. So look at what I have to do to um, sort of sit on the edge and place these. I haven't fallen yet, but I'll probably have to move a bit again. And uh, have a chance of falling. I didn't fall. Gosh, it's so easy to fall. So yeah, uh, maybe it's just the wood does this beautiful um I'm not even sure what the word is that I would want to use. But it just molds and bends and blends with with what you're trying to do, you know. Oops, I went in the wrong area. Mm, put that there and put okay. Just I still want to make sure that I'm using uh, like an axe for chopping wood, pickaxe for stone, stuff like that. Actually, matters. You can use everything and it breaks everything in one punch, but you don't want to really do that because you'll be wasting a tool fairly fast if it's not the right tool. So yeah, look how nice it just. It takes a while to. Place it all in, and I'm actually out of that wood. This is a different type of wood now. Um, but it just blends so nicely. And... Yeah. So in a nutshell, that's how building is. In Tug, at this point, it is... If you look at the top left corner, is it... It is in development version... In development version 0.7.1. And my frames are... Below 30. Sadness. I wonder if it's the lights. I'm gonna go this way. See if it changes. No, it's the same. Dropped even more. I was at like 50 earlier. I'm not sure what's going on. So yeah, that is the little Viking-like cabin that we're working on. Um, I actually want to get myself a little screenshot here and I do control U to hide part of the UI, not all of it hides and I don't know if I want to be in the screenshot maybe over here let's look this way and that way well, that's good. Okay, well, there you have it, guys. Um, let's bring that UI back in case we need it. I'm eating pumpkins, oranges, the seeds from them as well, and building myself a Viking-esque cabin. Um, again, <laughs> this is... Uh, where is my box? This is where the row, this is where the block is for where the cobble is, but it blended to the left there. So it makes it now look a bit, I would say, uneven, like I sort of slapped it together and didn't count, you know, but no, this is one block there, another one, and another one. So it just sort of it sort of shifts where it blends. And I'm gonna, if you guys already know if it, this was changed or not, see this, ro this rock I placed before today, up to here and then when I placed place this rock it is <coughs> a square block now it's not a round edge so let me know if that's something that changed recently and I just haven't looked at it uh, close enough in, in the patch notes to find out and maybe I'll go read the patch notes myself as well uh, that's about it for now I will see you guys next time uh, hopefully you have enjoyed this little upgrade on how you can build things in tug even though I didn't place many 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 blocks but that kind of gets you an idea of how creative you can get this is just a simple cobble and wood cabin which is needing the roof to be finished I'll see you guys next time don't forget to hit the like button and comment if you're not subscribed yet and you would like to see more of my videos, just go ahead and subscribe and I'll
be here entertaining once in a while at least bye